right, so this is our Jordi Lorenz Foster. It's a sparkling Macabeo coming from Catalonia, Spain. Um, it is made in a style called Catalan Natural or Petnat. Uh, so what that means is a single fermentation uh, with no filtration either. Um, so kind of the other end of sparkling compared to champagne. Uh, champagne will have two fermentations and most of the time it's also filtered. Uh, so you get a little bit more of a cidery style of sparkling wine, something to get your appetite going. Yeah. So now what restaurant are we in? Lord Stanley. Oh, Lord Stanley, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. In dill to kind of simulate almost like a French onion soup and then a bite. And we have a fried oyster. The sauce is actually sort of like a fondue, like a house fondue, but it's a little bit lighter with a bit of a dill uh, uh, oil inside. So feel free to dip it on in there, okay? And these are just finger foods. Okay, thank Alrighty. you. Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now. And the caviar is inside. Oh, oh how sweet. Oh. Ta-da! <laughs> you needed your little ta-da. <laughs> we were just wondering how long is going to go? Is she four? She's three and a half. Oh. She's going to be, <clears throat> she's gonna be four in August. Oh, oh boy. I know. She's an old lady. Down and kind of almost make like a savion with mm -hmm. the apple juice. And have a little apple cider vinegar in there. Um, and then we have the Zar Nicolae Reserve Caviar on top. So that's a local caviar farm. It's in Sacramento. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but they're like yeah. sustainable. Totally self-sufficient. They use like all the runoff water to make like lettuce. Oh my goodness. They do like fish leather. Oh, with like they use everything. It's a really, really cool place. Yay. So enjoy guys. Alright, so we have for you our Dame Bon Genuine Blanc. Um, this is a I just find it funny that they do you have any, do you have any fake they, Yeah, yeah. They uh, they named it that to be uh coy, I guess. Um so this is a Chardonnay coming from Mendocino. Um it is um De Levant is a group of natural winemakers who are actually um kind of backed financially by a wine importer, so someone who typically imports wine from France and Spain. Um so what they do here is um kind of do a little bit more experimentation with wine. So uh, things they wouldn't normally do with their own money and their own labels. Uh, so what they do here is they take these Chardonnay grapes and they uh, put them through a process called carbonic maceration. This is typically used for reds uh, like Gamete and it brings a little bit more of a fruit characteristic foam. Uh, so you get that here. Um, it's also aged in stainless so it's a really lean um, style of Chardonnay so it's really nice along with um, seafood um, in the scallop with uni but also the, the fresh squash um, with the cheese. Cream. It's a family picture. Yeah, um, you uh, have some funny ones. Um, oh my gosh, we, we have one of those in our family. Yes, yeah, so we have um, the previous Sauvignon Blanc, the Sauvignon Blanc that we have from them is them like holding a fish and then the other guy's like holding a glass of, like a bottle of wine. So they're very funny. They're very <laughs> Y'all from Massachusetts. From Massachusetts. Very yeah. good. A little dill from oh, fresh and a little fresh on top. And then we do a house for the tire. So we do our, our, our own actual food for tire, which is pretty cool. And shake on top. And then for the lady, we have the summer squash. We have summer squash that's heated on the bottom, and then we also have zucchini fanned out on top with dill oil. And then underneath, fresh curd with a little bit of chopped fava and peas. Taste, mouth filter, really good stuff. Thank you. Enjoy. The culture butter. And bag lunch. Bag lunch. Uh -huh. Full of our sourdough in house made bread. Let's see what that looks like. Nothing in here. <laughs> right, I want some bread. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got in there. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> It just looks good. <laughs> it just right. looks good. So I have two different ones here for two different dishes. Uh, so first we have our Emmy Wines Zinfandel. This is coming from Mendocino. Um, you might see in the glass it's much lighter than your typical Zinfandel. Yeah. Um, unfortunately due to the wildfire she had to harvest her grapes pretty early. Um, this lent for a little bit of an underripe, just ripe kind of grape. So she took those um, grapes and made a lighter press style of Zinfandel. Um, so much lighter.
lighter in body, um, a little bit more fruit forward. Um, so very nice along with curry and, and delicate seafood such as lobster. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I think given her cir circumstances, she made like a very delicious one. So yeah. She did a good job with nice. adding the yes. lemons from lemon <laughs> to lemonade. Um, and then for you, we have our uh, Fioretti. Uh, this is a Malbec coming from Fouhouse, France. Um, also known as Co in France, um, the grape. So a little bit more meaty, it's aged in older barrels, um, a little bit more balanced um, to go along with the lamb. Thank you. And then uh, curry broth. Uh, for yourself, we have a uh, lamb shoulder, uh, Armenian cucumber, and then a uh, paluka lentil, and then a lamb shoe. Ah, thank you. So you have a lobster tail, right? And, cl and claw. claw. Which is very small, which is going to be very tasty. Uh, Asparagus, asparagus soup. And I've got the, uh, the lamb. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. But this is our Francois Chaudain. Le Tufeau. This is a Chenin Blanc coming from the Loire Valley. Um, Francois Chaudin is actually known for making many different styles of Chenin Blanc. So sparkling, dry, sweet, somewhere in the middle. And this one is the one that falls somewhere in the middle. So it's not dry, but it's not sweet either. It has a little bit more caramel notes there. Um, very nice with the cheese and kind of evens out the sweetness and the, the fruit taste. Yeah. Thank you. Lights are so pretty. So up front we have our uh, bird's nest, I like to call it. So it's coming with strawberries, passion fruit, and a banana crema down. Then we have our smoked cannon there with gooseberries and black pepper crumbs. Thank you. Thank you. And okay. Nate, Harper, and Nathan's going to be going to China with us when we go. Oh. oh. To open it. Oh my! Yes, so, there. We're opening it. Yeah, we're, we've got a place over there. So we're leaving. Wow. Nathan's gonna be going in a couple of months, and then 